Hello everyone. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Good evening, all. Shall we start our class? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Uh, do we have uh, Anand, right? What's your name? One second. Ashok. Ashok, are you there? Yes, sir. Ashok, okay. okay. I have seen your message. Uh, yes, yeah, we'll connect after this class. Okay, okay. I'll give remote access. Okay, we'll... Okay. we'll... That's all, sir. Problem is solved. Problem is solved. Achha, solved, right? Eh? Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, it's great news. Yes, sir. Fine, fine. So they have activated your account, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great news. Okay. So let me log into my account and let me start my instances. So I have shared that screenshot also. Yesterday, the diagram, right? That one I have shared. Let me start my instance. Oh, So see here, this is my repository, Mumbai Git. Let's go inside this one. I'm inside Mumbai repository, Mumbai Git. If you do LS, you can see these are file that we created in last class. In our last class, we were trying to understand how two people, they work together by sitting in different geographical locations and how do they use Git? Okay, so to share their work and all, you know? So simple guys, mainly Git is all about four commands. Git add, Git commit, Git push, and Git pull. Mainly, this is what actually mostly we do. If you remember these commands, yeah, that means you know about Git. Git add, commit, push, pull. These are the four core commands that we use. Apart from that, in Git, we have so many small, small topics are there. Those we are going to discuss one by one. Okay? Yeah. Let's do it now. Yeah. So, our next topic is Git ignore. Okay, git ignore. Git ignore. So what is git ignore? Simple. The, oh, yeah. This is my repository. Workspace staging area. Okay. This workspace staging area local repo okay now in this workspace assume that i have some thousand files on there or thousand files out of those files uh, th assume thousand files are there in that i have written a lot of code out of those thousand files finite files are very very important 
okay finite files uh, like you know assume that they are ending with the dot uh, you know ending with dot txt they are very very important like uh, file one dot txt file two dot txt side dot txt something dot txt okay actually in linux extensions are not required just you know for easy understanding while creating files we have given txt assume okay so finite files are ending with dot txt extension which are important for me some finite files are there uh, which are ending with uh, assume the dot class which are not important for me because you know sometimes we you know when the developers they write code and you know when they build and all some unnecessary files will be created class files and all okay so could be any reason out of thousand files finite files are important for me these finite files are not important class files now i want to add only these finite files i want to add and i want to comment okay so how to do it if you want to add the command is git add suppose file one file one dot txt again one more file git add file two dot txt file three so will you run finite commands like this no this is not a good good idea this is a hard work you have one more command that is what git add dot right if you give dot all files but in this case the problem is these unnecessary files also will be added again there is one more problem now to address these kind of issues to address these kind of issues we have a concept called git ignore okay i want to add only these files it by by running one single command okay so in that case we have a concept called git ignore so what i want i want git should ignore these files git should add only these files git should ignore these files okay git should ignore any file ending with class okay so how to do it for that what we do first we need to create one file that file name must be dot git ignore must be then only it will work that file must be dot git ignore you should not change the file name okay dot git ignore without spaces in that file i am going to mention star dot class you create a file with the name should be dot git ignore it should be hidden file dot class in that you mention then git doesn't anything about this file because when you create any file git will not understand this untracked file you have to add this file and you have to commit so when you add and commit now git understood this git ignore file in that it already read dot class that means you put any format here in this file git will ignore those files okay you added and committed okay now on what you run git git add dot git add dot when you run this one git will add all files except these class files git will ignore any file ending with the class because that format already mentioned in in this file okay that is simple i am repeating simple first step you create dot git ignore file in that you put this format star dot class then you add this file commit that's it now our notes happily you run git add dot when you run git add dot it will add all files except these class files suppose in this file you mentioned dot something java you modified this file again you add and commit now our notes you run git add dot git will add all files except any file ending with dot class and dot that means whatever format you mentioned in this file git will ignore those files git will add all other files except the format that you mentioned suppose i i want git should add these files also then you remove this format again you add and commit then you run git add dot git will add dot class also simple in a in a in a simple terms you mention any format in this file git will ignore that one because that name itself git ignore let's do it it's very easy let's do it now this is my repository okay workspace staging area local repo okay now first i am going to create one file 
that file name I'll give dot git ignore. In that I'll mention star dot Okay, so let's do it now. VI dot git ignore dot git ignore. Okay, it should be file name, you should not change. That is how they mentioned clearly. If you change it will not work. Dot git ignore. In that I have mentioned star dot class. That means any file ending with class. Just come out of that file. Now git doesn't know anything about that file. You can verify git status. It is saying that hey Sai, what is this file? I don't know. Untracked file. So what we are going to do, let's add this file and let's commit. Okay. Git add dot dot means you know that all files means right now that is the only file right? and git commit. Git commit minus m. You commit message like any message. I'll give dot git ignore. That's it. Added commit. Right? Now verify git status. Nothing is there because we have added and committed. Yeah. Now, now you create any files. Let me create some, you know, uh, thousand files. I don't worry. I'm not creating thousand files. Let me create a few files. Some files I'll create uh, with uh, dot uh, txt. Some files I'll create with uh, dot uh, plus. Okay, let's read now. Touch, by using touch, you can create files. Okay. File one dot txt. File two dot txt. Okay. Uh, file Three dot class file four dot class okay and uh, file zero dot Java you can see I have randomly I'm creating many files correct see like that we can create any number of files file one dot txt file two file three okay randomly I'm creating some files. Right, some files are having dot x3, some are dot less, some are dot java. Okay, now press enter, do ls, you can see all these files. Okay. Now you run git status. See, it is showing java file, txt files, but it is not showing class files. It is not showing class. Okay. Let me get one more file. Touch. You know, uh, side dot class. Okay, side dot class. Now run git status. See? Stay. Any file. You create any file ending with class. Git will not show that file. So git will ignore all class files. You create any file ending with class. Now if you run git add dot. Add it. What are the files we have added? Verify. Git add added. All files except class. That is what I want, right? See, now you commit, hit commit, minus m, important files, any message, whatever. That's it. See, it added, committed only these files. That's all. Understood, right? That is how it works. Yeah. You create any file, okay, ending with class, git will ignore. Suppose I, I want git should, you know, uh, ignore, git should ignore uh, Java files also. Now onwards. Open this file. Star.java. Just, just below that you mentioned. Again, you add this file. Add and commit. Ignore file. Now onwards, you create any file with Java. Git will ignore. Suppose I git should include these files also. Then you remove these files. Okay. Open this file. Git ignore. Remove these entries. You again add and commit this file. Now our notes, git will include all files. Simple. Whatever format you mention in this file, git will ignore. Okay. But every time you modify this git ignore file, you have to add and commit. Because git should know, right? First of all, what is that file? What content is it? That's why you did. So here the problem is, it will work only with common files which are having common extension. 
Suppose if you have 100 files, all, all are different files. One is Sai, one is Raj, one is Rahul, one is Rohit. No, it will not work. So, okay, they should have common extension. Then only we can give star. If those are different, different file names, then yes, we have our different concepts are there. We'll discuss in upcoming classes. Okay, so here this will work only with the files which are having common extension. Don't bother. Okay. Yeah, that is what git ignore. Now, see so if you want to see commits, command is git log. That already you know, right? Git log. This is the latest commit. In this commit, we don't have any data. Let me show you. See, guys, when you run git log, you can see if it is showing colon something like this to come out Q, press Q to quit. Okay, now let's verify git show. What is the latest commit? You can see this one. So what kind of content you are expecting in this commit? We have committed three empty files, right? So paste this one. What is showing? It is showing that is I. Total you added three files. File 0.java, 1.txt, 2.txt. Is it showing any content? No, nothing. See here, no content, nothing. Nothing is there. That's it. That means these are just empty files. That is okay. If you want to see commits, we use git log, but every time you run git log, it is showing all commits, you know, including, you know, author, email ID, date, stamping, mess, you know, commit mess, everything. But I want to see, you know, uh, I don't want to see all commits. I want to see the latest commit. For that, you can run git log minus one. Minus one means only latest first commit. You can see. It is showing the latest commit. Sai, so I want to see latest two commits. Git log minus two. I want to see latest three commits. Git log minus three. That means every time you need not to see all commits. Whatever commit that you want, you can verify. Okay, from latest onwards. Suppose, Sai, so I don't want to see these many things. I want to see all commits, but in a summarized manner. Summarized manner. In that case, we have a command that is git log minus minus one line. Git log minus minus one line. It's not online, it's one line. Okay, now enter. Now see, it shows all commits, but first to seven characters because we need minimum seven. And their commit messages, you can see. Don't worry, these in main head origin, these we will understand slowly. You can see commit messages. So if you want to see only commits and their messages, commit messages in a summarized manner, git log minus minus one. Okay, so it will show in a summarized manner, short manner. Okay, assume that here we have some thousands of command commits are there. Thousand commits are there. Out of thousand commits, I want to pick one particular commit. I want to pick one particular commit. We can't remember commit ID, correct? That's how we give commit messages so that we can remember easily. In that message also, I, I don't remember all commit messages. Okay. I remember only one, uh, you know, word that, you know, that word is files or just, you know, important. This word I remember. Assume that these are thousand commits. Out of thousand commits, I remember only one word, IMP. So by using that word, I want to pick this commit. So how to do that? If you want to search for anything, we use grep command in Linux, right? In Git also, yes, we use that same command. Git log hyphen hyphen grep. And in double quotes, give that word, IMP. Git log hyphen hyphen grep. Okay, you give whatever the word you are searching. So out of all commits, I am going to search for one word that is IMP. Now enter. So out of all commits here, it will get that particular commit. You can see the latest, right? Important files. That's how we can search for one particular commit by using one particular word. And uh, yeah, these, these are, and if you want to see the data of any commit, you know, git show, commit ID, it shows the data which is present in this commit. Okay, fine. So I hope you understood till here. 